Buffalo in January as we welcome you inside a snowy new era field on the shores of Lake Erie. A few moments ago, to the delight of this Buffalo crowd, it was the Bills racing out of the tunnel as they get set to match up with the Denver Broncos. Here's the first carry now for Frank Gore. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Get in the weight room. Get in the weight room. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with the draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? Well, you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field. They're only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass them with a running play. They'll try and pick up the first with Gore. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Defense had a chance to get off the field here on the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches, and sometimes maybe we can get you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 45-yard line. And now they'll throw with Allen, and his throw is going to be incomplete. Tyler Croft, the tight end, the one he was looking for. And it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. And that's caught by Beasley. And this is going to be another first down as he'll make the tackle at the Broncos 19. Take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Mike Purcell with the tackle. But if you're going to have a relay race, you're probably going to pick your backs and receivers to run it, but don't underestimate the conditioning of the offensive line. They're out there just dictating things, staying on the field, and keeping a long drive going. From the 16, Allen throwing over the middle. And it's incomplete. Robert Foster, the intended receiver, and it's third down. They always say that real estate is about location. Well, guess what? When it's a slant route, the quick ones, timing, timing, timing. Got to be able to lead your man with the football. And the timing off right there, threw it behind him. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. No gain at all on the play there. And that brings up fourth. They tried to swing it out left into the flat, but the defense, they were very principled there. It felt very West Coast offense, didn't it? You know, you know their expression, right? On a West Coast offense, when they throw the ball, it's either going to be a touchdown. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. 
picked. It's picked up. A live ball here. Look at the big man rumble. He's at the 50, 30, the 20, 10. Oh, oh, on the ready. I think that was great effort and great execution all the way around. They blocked the kick, and then they formed the, the line to make sure they can return it. And no penalties. What a great job. Yeah, almost took it in for six, and now they're in excellent position, first and goal. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Now the first carry here for Philip Lindsay, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. On goal-to-goal -goal runs, when you create lost yardage plays, the only way that happens is either call pressure or what I like to call straight-ahead pursuit. A great read, and they get to the backfield and make the play. And that was a big chunk of yardage lost. They look to throw. It's locked. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Able to get there and pick it. Allen to the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 20. So after the INT, it's Allen. And this one complete to Smith. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You're talking about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. So he's three for seven throwing the football right now. Not an awful start, but also not the sharpest of starts. No, I would agree with that. But if you're a confident quarterback and to play that position, you have to be. You just act like there's something wrong with the wind currents or something wrong with the ball. It is not you. Keep throwing. That timing usually develops. Throwing is Allen on third. And that will be incomplete. Well, we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. And this is a way. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. take this one up to about the six yard line all that that only nets him a yard it's second down ready ready 70 indy quick turn to the box and play it on second down a run with lindsay it goes as a loss of six. And now third down. Yeah, now it's a safety that came through and made the play. But there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker. And we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. On the ground with a tight end. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. The Broncos send out their punter now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he's able to get it out of there.
A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And the Bills are going to take over in great position here for the first and 10. As Buffalo comes back out here, Charles, I just want to give some love to the job that Sean McDermott has done. And, yeah, you got to give the players credit, too, but a double-digit win season. First season of at least 10 wins this year for Buffalo since 1999. And think about McDermott now. He's been to the playoffs two or three seasons. Since the year 2000, with seven previous coaches before McDermott, zero playoff appearances. And this is a proud franchise, a community that loves their team. And the players carry a lot of pride with them into the future because I've seen all over social media, former Bills, so excited to see how this team is playing, coming out of the woodwork to let the world know, hey, we're all about the Buffalo Bills. You're exactly right. What Sean McDermott has done there in a short amount of time, Really, really impressive. And they're also a team that's built to scare the heck out of people in the playoffs. Excellent on defense, a quarterback who can throw it downfield in Josh Allen. And boy, when he breaks contain running it, wreaks havoc on defenses. They'll run on first down. Gore. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. A one-yard gain can look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. Gore. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. On the move to his left. He can run for it, and he will. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. He had his lone attempt blocked earlier. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And the Bills will take a 3-0 lead. So this time, the protection holds up for him just fine, and he's able to bang it through. I think their special teams coach got the point across. He gave him a pretty good earful after the block earlier. And this time, there's no penetration, so they're able to pick up three. Now after the made field goal, Hauschka back out onto the field to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the Broncos' offense again, C.D., and if you look at the year, we talked about Drew Locke at quarterback, but just the team collectively. It'll be the fourth straight season without playoffs in the Mile High Come City on. since they won Super really? Bowl 50, and Peyton Manning retired. This year, a slow start really doomed them. They began the year 0-4. A couple of those losses were closed by two points, but defensively, they also lost Bradley Chubb. Of course, Joe Flacco goes down, so they had some adversity this season. They certainly did, and they were rebuilding anyway. Brand-new head coach and Vic Fangio had to rebuild the offensive line. A lot of things just didn't come together well. I thought they showed a lot of grit throughout the season and how they played. You mentioned some of those close losses. This is a team that has something to build on, but I'm still stuck on the fact that it's been four straight years without playoff football in Denver. That's stunning to me. It is, and you can point to the quarterback position, right? Since Manning, all the volatility at that position, they really haven't had a lot of continuity. In a lot of ways, they wasted a great defense during that four-year stretch. Seven yards there and a first down. 
Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Lock taking the snap at one. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. A run with Lindsey out of the gun. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The Broncos send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Singletary to get the drive started. And Singletary has it stripped. It's picked up by the Broncos. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll try the draw, Lindsey. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Locked to throw on second down. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. you got to cash in and get some points. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. On third down, here's Lindsey. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. They had quite a hole to dig out of there on third and long. Not able to get the first, but a pretty good size run. A really good run. But how much confidence do you have in your next play call that you can sell to the head coach? Let's go get it on fourth down. Do you really have a play you believe in? Or are you just hopeful? And you've got to sell it to the big man before it gets called. So they recovered the fumble, but ultimately could not take advantage of the short field. Definitely a lost opportunity right there. I mean, they were in prime position to put six on the board. Ended up settling for three. Field goals all we've had so far. 3-3 now as the kick is away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. 
Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though? When they only gave up the field goal, and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive, a little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. So the loss of a yard, and now second and 11 from the 24-yard line. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance and guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. He gets it to Brown, complete. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. It's the first time that they've looked his way tonight, and he comes up with a first down on the play. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Now a draw play for Gore. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. The Bills on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and five. He may try and run for this. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy, make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. Now Gore, and he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play, and it'll bring up a second and 13. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Barreling in for the sack, Shelby Harris. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Yeah, and that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. And that's complete to Croft. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 34-yard line. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. This is a draw play. Allen gives to Singletary. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. 
two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. He can run for it, and he will. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. I know it looks easy to a lot of people when you're kicking the ball. I mean, it looks pretty simple, right? Snap, put it down, kick it. But playing it in the snow, that can throw off your timing just a bit, and that can wreak havoc, as we just saw there. Well, it throws off the timing, and I just think it's an extra advantage for the team that's coming in to block it because they've got a hold on the offensive side, and, of course, the kicker and holder and snapper, they've got a lot to deal with. What can't be underestimated is the person catching the ball, the holder, and putting it down. You're talking about cold hands, snowy weather ball can get slippery on you it's a lot of extra pressure on that person and they're able to get it down but a nice job to get in and block it and he got blown up losing yardage on the play back at the 44. the tally there minus two yards brings up third down The Broncos on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and seven. Throwing his lock on third down. He's got his tight end fan. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Denver has the first down to play going for 15 yards. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, you go, he's go. good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. This is Freeman on first and 10. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. From the 35 on second down, lock. This is the tight end fan. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Ready, ready. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Here we go. 25. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. It's a pickup of five. Brings up second down. Four receivers to keep tabs on here. Three of them to the right side on second and five. Now Locke throwing on second down. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Tim Patrick that time, and it's third and five. The Broncos on third down. Just one for five to this point. This will be third and five. From the gun on third down, Locke. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. These guys had to settle for a field goal their last time moving the ball down the field. They may have to do it again on this drive. That could be frustrating. Yeah, I don't want to be cliche, but at least they were able to get three last time. Three here, not the worst thing in the world. The kick by McManus is good. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals. It's 6-3. to three. 
So we're trading first half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. We got a 6-3 game. Yeah, and I know so many people look at a game through offensive eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to view it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them, both of them hoping to keep it to field goals and not give up big touchdowns. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. The last time they had a little bit of a special teams breakdown. That field goal was blocked. Yeah, and everything has to be precise in the kicking game. Snap, hold, kick. Obviously, the blocking to keep people out. So what you really want to do is get in there and get six points and take the pressure off of those guys. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now it's Gore. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. On the tackle that time, Shelby Harris. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. You got nothing. To throw, it's Allen. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. And here's carry number 10 for Frank Gore. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Bills send the punter out as he'll kick it away for the second time. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Throwing on first down is Locke. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Bust like that at just about every position. And sometimes if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. We got four. We got five. On second down now, it's Lindsey. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Only a yard of the pickup there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. Block working out of the gun. And that is incomplete. The Broncos send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 
And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And you figure, Charles, they have enough time here in the first half, more than a minute, to put a drive together, at least get them in position to try a field goal. Yeah, they've got all three timeouts at their disposal, so I'm actually thinking bigger. With those three timeouts, that amount of time on the clock, I'm thinking about trying to get a touchdown and settle for a field goal. Now Allen, pass incomplete. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. And here's Allen throwing again. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Will Parks there in coverage to knock it away. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. On third down, they'll run with goal. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. The Bills send the punter out as he'll come on to kick this one away. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five. And possession will switch. Hands first and ten. The Bronco offense now set to come back out onto the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. So from the 36 now, first and ten. On first and ten, here's Locke. A little check down to Lindsey. A gain of four on the play, and it'll make it second down. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held him to an okay game. He's got his 6'5 receiver. That's Tim Patrick. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 18 big yards on that one and a Denver first. So if you like field goals, this is your game. 6-3, three, three field goals at the break. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, not too many breaks ahead according to the radar. More snow on the horizon as we are back underway in half number two. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Here comes the Broncos offensive unit here as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They have the lead, now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments, so guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll run here with Lindsey. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Denver has a first down on the 15-yard play. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. 
And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was trying to find Noah Fant, the tight end, but it's going to be second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Pushing through the contact. Now, I know it's an emotional game, Charles. You can't do that. And when you get into your film sessions and you argue your case with your coaches, that's exactly what they say at the end. You just can't do it. It costs your team. Ready. 49, guys. Mike, Mike, 49. Rip right, rip right. Yeah. Shotgun snap and a give to Lindsey. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The 10 yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. 90 Wolf. On first down, right back to Lindsey. And he'll get this one down to about the 10 yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. That's a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one yard gain. On second down, it's Lindsey, and the stop will come inside the five at the four. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. Lock going to try and throw on third down. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And McManus able to put it through, and they continue to lead in the battle of field goals here. It's now 9-3. to three. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps a deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. I would say that you've pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. The other side saying, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though, three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. So here's the Bills offense now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game. Yet, they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. Now, here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. On second down now, Singletary. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. A nickel set defensively for the Broncos here on third down. 
Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And that is incomplete. Well, his struggles continue. Open targets, and he keeps missing them. Pressing way too much. He may have a big arm, but until he learns how to harness it and have some touch, he's going to continue to struggle. The Bills send the punter out. He's been terrific so far. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Lock and the Broncos going to come up first and 10 at their own 23. On first down, Lock. This one complete to the running back, Lindsey. Call it a one-yard gain of the play, and it'll be a second down. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine at the 24-yard line. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Now a carry for Lindsey. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. Another run by Lindsey. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. They'll start on the ground with Gore. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. A gain of three, second down. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Now second and seven from the 23. Throwing now is Allen. Throwing middle but it's incomplete. Cole Beasley, the intended target. But now it'll be third down. You know they wanted, you know they expected. They needed him to be sharp coming out after the half. Unfortunately, he's missed his first three throws. I wonder if he got out late and missed his warm-up time. The whole team did come out a little bit later than usual. I don't know, maybe there's something to that. Must have been a heck of a halftime speech. Yeah, maybe just trying to rally the troops back from this deficit. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off here, the 32. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. After the turnover, here's Locke. And he hits his target, Deshaun Hamilton. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Here's Lindsey. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. Going to be some contact going on. to the ground, this time with Freeman. 
And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. There's a lot of different formulas to winning football, but one constant over the years, winning on third down. That pickup there was big because they had struggled throughout this one. On first and ten, it's Lindsey. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out-leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Second and five now. Lock. That is throw is incomplete. Jeff Hireman, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. How about the defensive effort from both of these teams that we've seen in this game? Would you say it's like a high-stakes chess match right now? Uh, chess is one way to go. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like it. Okay, the only reason I say that, you feel like they're contemplating their moves before actually making one, and none of them being done very confidently. Uh, truth be told, I've never played chess, and I know that I'm not smart enough to play chess. Guys like you with your IQ, you can pull that off. This team doesn't mind running the ball in any situation, and I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed, but the defense closed in and stopped him just about a yard short. So out comes the field goal team once more. The kick by McManus is good, and the lead stretches to nine. It's now 12 to three. So make him four out of four now in the field goal department, and he's able to extend their lead. When drives are bogged down, he's been automatic out there. So nice to have a kicker you can count on to put points on the board. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Singletary again and he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three and guess what it brings up third down he really hasn't been able to get on track running the football averaging less than four yards a carry yeah I think that they're going to enjoy the film session because all the defenders are filling their proper gaps on just about every play and you know what they always say for a defensive coach when I click off this film I better see 11 jerseys in the picture going after the ball carrier and he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist to the referee, and that means fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the field. Uh, I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. This is brought in at the 21. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. 
And Denver getting set to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Pardon me, you know I love to point out when teams break tendency and do something a little bit different from the norm. But when you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. That's just trying to establish yourself as you move forward. On second and nine, lock. And his throw here is incomplete. Cortland Sutton is the man he was looking for. But now it's third down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. From the gun, it's Locke. He'll let this go deep for Sutton. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. I like the boldness, and I like that they took a shot downfield, but it was well covered. He was able to get a hand in and knock it away. The Broncos send out their punter now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Now a first down run is sniffed out from the start as he'll drop it for a loss of four. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Continues to be a struggle for this offense and this home crowd. They're growing a little restless here in the second half. And I think they've just got to look at how they're trying to move the football. Yeah, you want to run it. But maybe you spread it out, maybe some swing passes that can take the place of runs and give you a little more space. Call it a gain of five that time. They'll be left with a third down at about nine to go. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Now Allen to throw on third down. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. Credit the sack to Von Miller. And here the pressure from the outside linebacking spot. And normally when that happens and they're able to get home, that means the other guys on his team helped him out a lot. That They occupied people to allow it to be no less than a one-on-one -on -one situation. Allows him to get home. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And that'll kick and go out of bounds just outside the 15 at the 16-yard line. Now this Broncos offensive unit ready to head back out onto the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They'll go again with Lindsey. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. 
And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You take in charge. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So now they'll come up on second and ten, once again from the 28. It's just me and you. On second down, a run with Lindsey. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. trenches they won there and they got in for six points and that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with they've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play they had no answer you always worry about the plant foot in the snow but no problems there and the lead is down to two Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping to you on the other side of the ball. Said, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? So when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw it with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker, was the one disrupting there defensively. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Well, they decided to air it out a little bit on that play, take a shot downfield, but the coverage was really nice. Able to get a hand in and tip it away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And ready. Shotgun snapped a lot. And that will be incomplete. 
Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And sensing the momentum may be changing here a little bit, Charles. Yeah, this defense is going to get off the field quickly, and their offense got them a touchdown the last time they had the ball, so they should get another shot. The Broncos send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. To return is Roberts. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. And now out come the Bills. Well, things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. Do they want to be methodical, or do they want to take the big strike and go after it right now? A throw left side to start out. That's complete. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. It's a loss of a yard there. And now second down. We'll put that one in the win column for the defense. Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays. But they did in a big way there. That pass play wound up for negative yardage. So here's second and 11. <laughs> Allen off the play fake. He'll buy some time right. Now he'll pull it down. The improv act there, good for nine. And now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can. And that's what he's done very well in this game. 319. Now another carry here tonight for Gore. And he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. A rough go there on third down, a loss of four. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything, change it up, because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. And coming out now, the Broncos. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. They go play action here on first down. They'll let this go deep for Sutton. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. A run with Lindsey out of the gun. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. But it's not been the best game for him. But he definitely tried to get by with a little help from his friend there, trying to create a big play. Couldn't do it, fell incomplete. But you're right, hasn't been a banner game here in the second half, just trying to get going. Big thing is trying to keep confidence up and continue to fire. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so something well, else. and maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. 15 yards that time, and a Buffalo first. Allen now 
six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. From midfield, here's Allen. His throw incomplete. Charles, I think back to your earlier statement about the visitors being the underdogs needing to win that turnover battle. And this defense, they forced two turnovers so far, a big reason why they lead this game. Yeah, and I know defenses always talk about getting turnovers and bunches, getting those takeaways. Two's not a bunch, but it's plenty in this game, exactly the formula they need. And I got to tell you, partner, I like it when you think back to something I said that actually comes true, that's actually right. It happens more often than you might think. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. The last completion actually lost a yard, so now they'll need to convert on third down. And again, it's Adam. And the grab by Croft. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. A four yard game. It's fourth down. The Bills send the punter out as he's on here to punt it away. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? Okay, ready? 60 pitch first. Double dog, double dog. Back to way. Check, check, check. Go. They'll start on the ground with Lindsey. And they'll get him down up past the 15. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first down. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell them to back off of being aggressive, but sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose, and just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. Now it's Lindsey. The tackle is made by Micah Hyde. On second down, it's Lindsey. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. A Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. But they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. Locks throw caught by Sutton. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, yeah. let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. On first down, Lindsey. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't it? Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So he was holding from that left tackle position. 
Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. Now after the holding call, here's second and 20. Let's get off the field, defense. This quick pass complete to Sutton. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 1.51 left. Freeman and he'll only get this to about the 35 well short of the line to gain now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next So on now is Brandon McManus. He has hit from as far away as 57, but that was in Denver. This will be kicked from the 42. It's a 52-yard attempt. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. Allen and the Bills now. Down by two. Just over a minute, 40 to play. A field goal would be a game winner as they come up on first down. So good field position for the Bills as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. They'll look to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. It's a pickup of 17 on that one and a Bills first down. At this stage, you've got to hustle. You've got to get back to the line of scrimmage because you're saving that timeout to make sure you have a chance to get your kicker out there for the big shot. First down now, but that clock rolling. Allen to throw. And he can't hang on to it. That would have sealed it. Instead, second down. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Now on second down, this is Gore. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. To throw is Allen. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And the question now, how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal? A field goal would give them the late lead. Now Allen. Oh, no, he lost the football. It's picked up by the Broncos. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The win for the Broncos, seemingly assured. They go down to a knee. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. And Denver getting set to take the field. And with the defense out of timeouts, powerless to stop the clock, this should just be a couple of kneel downs. Cut, 30 base. Justin, Justin. Let's go. The win for the Broncos, seemingly assured they go down to a knee.
So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Lock, he's set to take a knee, and that should do it for this ball game. So this one will wind up a Denver victory, and this one won't be remembered for many offensive fireworks, but they did enough to get the job done. And that's why it's a team game, because sometimes you have to lean on one part of your team. And they leaned on their defense. In fact, they probably went over there and asked for some help. Like, guys, we just don't have it in this one. Can you hook us up? And they did in a big way. Said, no problem. Put it on our shoulders. We'll carry you home. And they did exactly that. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Buffalo.